Hey, welcome to another BTEC. This is David. This one's sponsored by Direct Mobiles. For the best mobile deals, check out directmobiles.co.uk. A good few weeks ago, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II was announced to the world in an online event because of coronavirus cancelling MWC where they usually launch their flagship devices. Since that launch, no one has managed to get hold of one of these highly sought after handsets for review or for anything else. And the official launch date for the Xperia 1 Mark II has remained a mystery. Three handsets were released at the launch, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, Xperia 10 Mark II and Xperia L4. The L4 does have a price and it's listed on Sony's website, however it does say it's not available at the moment. The L4 is listed for a price of £169. But now it does seem like we have a release date for the flagship Xperia 1 Mark II from a tweet that was put out by the Spanish Sony Twitter account. The tweet said that Sony Xperia 1 Mark II will be available to buy in the next couple of weeks. A specific date wasn't mentioned, but from this we can gather that we will be able to buy the new device before the end of this month. Now the fact that this is only coming from one Sony outlet kind of suggests that we should take this with a pinch of salt. Sony Xperia Mark 1 did have a similar release schedule. It was announced at MWC at the start of the year, but it wasn't in users' hands until June. So in a way, although it has been so long since the announcement, Sony would in fact be ahead of schedule if they chose to release it this month. If it is true, then this is great news for Sony fans. The Xperia 1 Mark II, as well as the two other new devices, all feature the unique 21 by 9 aspect ratio, which gives it a completely different feeling in the hand to most other phones. It's a very slim and very elegant design. The Xperia 10 Mark II in particular has seen quite an upgrade from last year's models. Only one size will feature this year, and this time it will have Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and the back, giving it a much more premium feel than the plastic body design of the Xperia 10. As well as matching the IP65-68 water and dust proof rating of the flagship model. It will run on a Snapdragon 665, have 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage and a 3600 mAh battery. There's going to be a triple rear camera setup with 1288 configuration and it will be priced in the UK at £319. We can assume that the Xperia 10 II will be released around about the same time as the flagship, hopefully before the end of this month. I'm actually very excited about the Xperia 10 Mark II because it's got a premium look and feel and it's very affordable. We'll just have to wait and see how this one turns out, but I think that most people will be interested in the big boy flagship. And with good reason. For me, this is the best looking Sony phone so far and they have produced a lot of very pretty phones in their time. As usual, it will be running the flagship Qualcomm chipset, the Snapdragon 865, with the X55 modem for 5G connectivity. For the first time, we'll see a quadruple rear camera system for the Sony, three of which will be 12 megapixel sensors, two of them are the Exmor type sensors, which give it great low light. It will also have a 3D timer flight sensor, which seems to be all the rage this year. Think of it as an upgraded depth sensor, but far more accurate. Sony have chosen to stay with 12 megapixels for the flagship, unlike most other companies, which are going for medium format resolution with their top phones. I don't have a problem with them sticking at 12 megapixels. I think it's more than enough to get really high quality shots from your smartphone. The Sony Alpha Division seems to be a lot more heavily involved this time around with the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. Evidence of this is that we expect a new photo pro mode, which will give you very similar controls to the Alpha cameras. I'm really hopeful that Sony have improved the image quality that we get from the camera. It was the one thing that let down the Sony Xperia Mark I, but the camera in this device probably isn't the most impressive part because of course, Sony always produced outstanding displays with their flagship smartphones. And this year they've really pulled out all the stops and we get a 4K HDR triluminous display. Hopefully this time it's going to be brighter than the display that was in its predecessor, the Xperia 1. Technically, that was probably the best screen from 2019. However, it just wasn't very bright and you could struggle sometimes to see it in really bright conditions. I'm hoping that they are aware of this and that this year they're going to make it bright enough. I mean, the competition is really stiff this year. Samsung's S20 series phones panels are just off the charts. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Sony have brought for the Xperia 1 Mark II and if it can compete. Unfortunately, we still don't have a price for the new Sony flagship, but I think it's safe to say that it's going to be a lot. Evidence of this is the fact that Sony have announced the prices for the other two phones, which are very well priced incidentally. £320 for the Xperia 10 Mark II sounds like a bit of a bargain to me. If we go with last year's prices, then the Xperia 1 was priced at £849, slightly cheaper than the S20 Plus and a lot cheaper than the S20 Ultra and roughly the same price as the P40 Pro. You could argue that if it does fall behind slightly compared to those devices in its camera, Camera, well, it will make up for it in other areas, such as in its display and its audio performance. 
In my opinion, Sony generally have the best sounds. Even in the mid-range phones, the sound quality coming through the headphones tends to be better than even the most expensive flagships. I just hope that this announcement from the Spanish Sony Twitter account is correct and we do see these phones very soon. Really excited to get my hands on an Xperia 1 Mark II and an Xperia 10 Mark II for review. As soon as samples are available, you can expect to see reviews up here on BTEC. So you know that the best place to find out all the details will be right here. So make sure you hit the sub button and the notification bell so you know every time we post a video. And when you're ready to buy your next phone, check out the Direct Mobile's website for the best mobile phone deals. You can compare all of the deals with all of the networks right there on the Direct Mobile's website. And they have over 24 years of award-winning customer service, so you're in great hands. That link is in the description below or just search directmobiles.co.uk. And thanks for watching, guys. You can follow me on social media. I'm David. This is BTEC.